Hi, this is Jay Kenobi from VancouverGadgets.ca, and today I'll be talking about the Olympus Penlight EPL5. This is uh, something that uh, just arrived a couple of days back from the vendor, and uh, I've taken it out on a field test and uh, to Cultus Lake, BC, and uh, did a bit of a photo shoot there. So, just to give you an idea, the Penlight. PL5. I'm just going to take a look at the box here just to give you an idea of some of the some of the quick specs on here. This is uh, an M Zuko digital 28 to 84 millimeter lens, uh, 14 to 4, 42 millimeter f 3.5 to 5.6 to R that shipped with this. It also comes with a separate electronic flash FLLM1 <clears throat> let's see if we can have a look at the contents here digital camera flash lens strap lithium ion battery battery charger USB cable AV cable CD-ROM manual and warranty card 16 megapixel camera the LCD is 3.0 inches uh, it goes up to 25,600 ISO utilizes TruePic VI and features 8 frames per second shooting and full HD 1080 video also has HDMI capability as well so I'm just gonna step right into the camera here itself the flash is in fact detachable. There's an unlock button here at the side, so you could actually detach the flash. It is uh, hot shoe compatible. There is a hot shoe here, so you could attach a different flash type if you're interested. The lenses are are interchangeable. It is an SLR, and it does have lock and unlock here, so you could in fact change the lens and put on a different lens the uh, front is 37 diameter so it's quite a small lens cap easy to lose so you gotta be careful about that one probably a good idea to put a little attachment on there and attach it directly onto the uh, lens barrel so I'm just gonna fire this up little on off button here and let's see well, there's no card in here I've actually taken the card out but uh, just to give you an idea you can toggle through a lot of the uh, functionality from the, the OK button and what that'll do is give you a number of options you could actually pull it out and there's a a touch screen monitor you can change the the brightness the background and whatnot on the fly the info button will actually give you enhanced information about each of the features as well that's in the i auto mode you take it over to the program mode you can actually toggle through a number of things here ESP center weighted metering spot metering spot highlight spot shadow for example by toggling up and down you actually have a number of options actually quite a number movie off or on face and eye priority on ISO auto or manually you can actually manually select your ISO from here the uh, the shot mode whether you want a single autofocus manual focus or whatnot through here and that was the spot metering the flash compensation plus or minus whether you want the flash on off or uh, a fill in flash slow sync fat flash so there's a red eye reduction of course movie modes which mode you want if you want full HD or reduced quality you could 
select 1280 by 720 for example <clears throat> the uh, shooting mode so large normal, large full, if you want full raw for 4608 by 3456 small normal large and full raw so we have a number of shooting options for sizes and types and the type of uh, frame you're looking for 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 3 by 4 whether you want a single high uh, frame per second, low frame per second or uh, delay timer if you want to get into your own pictures is available of course and uh, these are the, the types of lighting you can have enhanced, vivid, natural, muted, that will change the saturation of the color pop art, soft focus, light tone, grainy film, pinhole, diorama cross process, gentle sepia, dramatic, key line, and watercolor there's quite a few that you can choose from there focal lengths, focal length info auto face and eye priority and oh that was back to the ISO <coughs> aperture priority the aperture priority uh, got, what, got me off guard a little bit because I'm used to like a full SLR a full SLR usually has the aperture ring around here in this case uh, it does not actually the zoom is here 14 to 42 zoom is located on the front. You also have a, a manual focus ring if you're interested in that. But the aperture is actually controlled from this up and down, so you can toggle through through the uh, apertures going down as far as uh, f22 with this particular lens. <clears throat> and you can also change the compensation if you want to purposely under or overexpose the image you can do that from pushing left or right on these buttons here shutter priority works in a similar capacity and so that would also be from the up or down buttons to change the shutter speed and this can go as high as one four thousand of a second and I think it can go up to like six seconds uh, for the shutter as well full manual so then in that you'd have the opportunity to do both the shutter speed and uh, and aperture manually and that you would just use the toggles going both ways this is movie mode so you can do uh, full movie and by going through here you have a number of options as well as to how you want to have that set up if you want a full full HD video and some similar options to what we found in the program the scene is an interesting mode you have a number of things night scene for example sports and such that you can toggle through children high key macro DIS mode nature macro, panorama, wide angle 3D so you could actually toggle through all of these fisheye effect, beach and snow fireworks there's actually even a document mode in here candles, I guess if you're taking a birthday picture So, yeah, it's kind of cool, and you can actually click into info, and it'll explain how each of the modes works. There's an art mode to apply dramatic effects, bracketing with the art, and you can actually grab all of the art modes in one go. Watercolor, key line, dramatic tone, gentle sepia, cross-processing, diorama, pinhole, grainy film, light tone, pale and light color, soft focus, 
pop art and such. And then back to iAuto. Playback is from the, the play button here, and you can adjust here. I don't have a card in it at the moment. But uh, yeah, it was a fun camera to use. Actually, I'll show you this here. This is pretty cool. This uh, will pop up, so if you're doing video, you can have it at an angle and look down on it rather than having to always be uh, having to look at it in a, in a vertical fashion. You can look at it horizontally. This can also come up as well if you want to do a self-portrait. You can bring that up. And this can also come out as well. So it can come come out, come apart from the camera a little bit. But yeah, it's a nice camera. It was a lot of fun to use. And the pictures were uh, very impressive. The photographs were very impressive. I'll be posting some of the uh, samples on the website. And uh, of course, it's got the... Uh, whoops. It's got the place for the uh, the tripod, and uh, it's the lithium-ion battery. All right, thanks for uh, joining today, and uh, once again, I'm Jay Kenobi from VancouverGadgets.ca. You can contact us by email at info at VancouverGadgets.ca. You can find us on Twitter at VancouverGadget, and uh, on the web www.vancouvergadgets.ca Thanks again, and uh, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.